From this presentation onwards, we will start with the new chapter called Unions and in this presentation, we will consider Introduction to Unions. So let's get started. Union is a user-defined data type but unlike structures, union members share same memory location. It should be noted down that union is also a user-defined data type. But unlike structures, union members share same memory location. They do not have different memory locations. They all share same memory location. That is the difference between union and structures. For example, we have a struct ABC which consists of two members, integer A and character B. What I have done basically, I use this struct ABC and I have checked the addresses of the integer A and the character B. What I got is, A's address is 6295624 and B's address is 6295628. They are different addresses which means that the structure members get different memory locations, right? So it is clear from this fact that structure members get different memory locations. But if I define a union which is declared the same way as in structure is declared with the difference that here the keyword union is used and here the keyword struct is used, right? Rest of the procedure is exactly the same. Here if we check the address of A and B, then we will get these addresses. They both are same. 6295616 is the address of A and 6295616 is the address of B. This means that A and B are sharing the same memory location. So this is the difference between structure and union. Union members share same memory location while that structure members have different memory locations. Okay. Here is the pictorial representation of the memory allocation in structure as well as union. In structure, we have this integer A and character B which have different memory locations as we can see over here. Integer will get 4 blocks of memory because integer size we are assuming is 4 bytes and 1 block size is equal to 1 byte. Therefore, they will take total 4 blocks of memory and after that character will get a memory. But in the case of union, both integer A and character B are sharing the same memory location. They both have the same initial address, right? Now let me share a fact with you. We know that in union, members will share same memory location. If we make changes in one member, then it will be reflected to other member as well. Due to this fact, if we make changes in one member, then it will be reflected to other member as well because they are sharing the same memory location. For example, we have this union ABC which consists of two members A and B and here is a variable of type union ABC. Okay? Just like structure, we can also declare a variable of type union ABC and this variable can access the members of this union. Okay? Within this main function, with the help of dot operator, we can access the member of this union. Here, where dot A, we are assigning it a value 65. It means that this member will get this value 65. Right? If we try to print this var dot a on the screen, as well as var dot b on the screen, we will get this output. a is equals to 65 and b equals to capital A. Now you might wondering why I am getting this capital A over here. a is equal to 65 is okay, right? But b is a character. We know that in union, both these members are sharing the same memory location, right? So 65 is also shared by character b. We know that the ASCII code of capital A is 65. So where dot B will be? Capital A. If we print this as a character on the screen. Therefore, capital A will get printed over here. Okay. Now how to decide the size of the union? Size of the union is taken according to the size of the largest member of the union. It should be noted down that size of the union is taken according to the size of the largest member of the union. For example, we have this union ABC which consists of four members, integer A, character B, double C and float D. Within this main function, we want to print the size of this whole union ABC. Now what would be the size of this union ABC in this case? First, let us assume something. In my machine, size of integer is four bytes, size of character is one byte, size of double is 8 bytes and size of float is 4 bytes. You can also check this on your machine. By typing here instead of union abc, you can type int char float double. You can check size of int by typing size of int, then size of double, size of char and so on. 
In the same way, I also check and I got these sizes. We can see here that the size of double is the largest among all. Hence, the output of this program is 8. Isn't that so? Therefore, the size of union ABC is 8 bytes as it is the largest. Right? Now, how to access the members of the union using pointers? We can access members of union through pointers by using the arrow operator. Okay? Just like structures, we can access the members of union through pointers as well by using the arrow operator. For example, here in this case, we have union ABC which consists of two members A and B. And within this main function, we have declared a variable of type union ABC. And then we are trying to access the member A using this variable var and we are assigning it a value 90. Okay. After that, we have a pointer P which is pointing to some object of type union ABC. Okay. And it contains the address of a variable var. Right. This means that now it can access these members A and B of the object var of type union ABC. Right. Here we are trying to print one integer and one character on the screen. And here we can see with the help of arrow operator, we can access these members A and B. Right. So here the output of this program is 90 and capital Z. 90 because var.a is 90. And we know that ASCII code of capital Z is 90. Right. And we also know that var.b is also 90. Right. And we are printing it as a character. Therefore, capital Z will get printed on the screen. Okay. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.